Hi, I'm Ralph W. Sevenor from Wayne Alarm Systems. Welcome. Thank you for spending a few moments with us for our Wayne Alarm Systems Antique uh, Minute. So um, this board right here shows a lot of the earlier um, fire detection, and it actually started here with some of the old Thompson uh, bimetallic heat detectors. And this device was nothing more than a circular bimetallic strip. When it got up to a certain temperature, about 115, 130 degrees, it would bend, it would flex, and uh, and uh, close a set of contacts. Some of the earlier heat detectors, and this was all made out of porcelain. And this is one of the earliest ones. This is called a, uh, this is actually made by a company called BAF ACO, Boston Automatic Fire Alarm Company. Now if you'll notice, it was a closed circuit design. In this case, this, this link is 255 degrees. So if you think about it, they had a link at 255. They had another link that was mounted over here that was 190 degrees. This was a closed circuit design, so most, most fire alarms as we know now are open circuit, but in this case they could actually tell if it was a break in the line, being uh, one side, or an actual alarm where both sides dropped out. So um, all wood construction, and um, some of them are still actually out there, believe it or not. So this device right here is called a rosette. And this is thin copper tubing, which they had a pressurization of. And they would have a diaphragm on one side. And one of the phenomena is if you heat an enclosed area, it would increase in pressure. We'll talk about that at a later date, but this device is called a rosette. These devices are called harmonicas. Got its name, if you look at it, it looks somewhat like a harmonica. And uh, it was um, uh, OEM'd by a company called um, uh, um, Dictograph. And um, this uh, wire right here is actually uh, called a protector wire, a fire protector wire. And it was uh, two pieces of metallic uh, wire with a mylar coating. And it was twisted one inch, uh, one twist per inch. And the concept was, is they could actually attach a device like a Wheatstone bridge and they could calculate exactly where the fire was because when there was a fire, because of the twist, it would melt at a certain temperature, cause a closed circuit, uh, short, and they could actually calculate where the resistance was. Still used in a lot of the aircraft, uh, um, the aircraft carriers in the United States. Uh, many of the telephone company central offices still use uh, protector wire. It's an old technology, but uh, still works. Uh, very, very interesting technology. Um, the inserts of what a, um, a rate of rise ROR, this is called a, um, this is an ADT device. It was an electronic uh, heat detector and then some of the pressure devices and the uh, line devices. So, as you can see, we're looking from the uh, late 1800s, 1870s, uh, up to the 2000s. So, I don't know if things have changed much, uh, uh, but uh, the technology um, uh, keeps improving. Thank you.